Hey what's up guys, it's Rich and welcome to a pretty quick gameplay that I got probably a month ago so I don't even have the PDW Gold this gameplay but I joined late, there was already a V sat up in the air and I made good use of it to manage to get one of my own and the killstreaks that I'm using are uncharacteristic like of me, I don't usually use uh, killstreaks that are this high up, I like to use like sentry gun and lightning strike and UAV and things like that just because I find it more fun to rotate through the lower killstreaks than it is to uh, you know, go for the storm, which is the highest kill streak in the game, of course. Uh, usually because it's a lot more stressful when you die 100 points off a swarm or a visa than it is dying 100 points off a UAV. So I just find it a lot more, well, a lot less stressful playing the game, and a lot more fun trying to just run through teams and whatever. So there you go. And this gameplay, I managed to get like a 1,200 score per minute. I was in the game for exactly four minutes, and I got seven, no, 4,700 score or something. So it's just under 1200 score per minute and it's pretty entertaining so I hope you enjoy that but the topic of today's video, the thing that I want to talk about is um, is how people always, well I've been saying recently that they are getting bored of Black Ops 2 already and it hasn't got the staying power of let's say you know Modern Warfare 3 or Modern Warfare 2 or previous Call of Duty titles and honestly I, I'm not sure I agree. I would agree if the only thing that I did was sit in ground war and try for 100 plus gameplays. I've already got bored of trying my best for gameplays in ground war because there are too many factors that need to fall into place that need to go together to um, you know to allow you to get a good gameplay. You need the opponents to be bad, you need the opponents not to dashboard or leave the game or shoot down your air support, you need your teammates not to triple cap or go for every single kill confirm tag and it's just there's too many factors that need to go into you getting a good gameplay and I just kind of gave up on it a few weeks into the game because it was too annoying when you were on on course for a good gameplay 100 plus gameplay and something would go wrong you'd die to a random car explosion that was already blown up or you know a random grenade would kill you or a hunter killer drone or an R6D car it's too annoying it's too boring and then even when you get the gameplay you realize that there are you know 500 pe uh, people uploading the same gameplays as you are onto uh, onto YouTube you need to find something that you find fun on Black Ops you need to find something that you like to do and upload and I've done that you know I've I really enjoy playing free for all I prefer the environment of free for all you know there's no one to to uh, to blame I guess if something goes wrong you can't say oh my teammates are bad because you are the only member on your team there is you know eight I think it's seven other people playing and you're the only person that can make you win you're the only person that can make uh, a difference to your to your game so there you go free for all for me is something that I like to fall back on and, and just kind of chill out on and if you go into a free for all lobby and just pull out a sniper put some music on and just try your best to win a games with non-lethal killstreaks trust me it is a lot of fun and I really do enjoy doing that and that's why I've uploaded a load of those uh, gameplays recently so when people say in their commentaries or say on Twitter you know Black Ops 2 is just really boring um, just think of who they are and what they do a lot of the time it's these guys that go for the ridiculous gameplays all the time and if honestly I, I would agree if I went for these gameplays if I just sat on Black Ops 2 in Grand War rather than Free For All or like a 6v6 playlist like HQ or Hardpoint I would agree Black Ops 2 there are too many things that go wrong the lag sometimes in the Grand War playlist because there's more people in the lobby there is a lot more lag because there's a lot more people connecting to the same person or server whatever it is and it just a lot of the time it isn't fun so a lot of the time when I jump on Black Ops 2 I'll jump into ground war and then you know if I get bored of it or whatever I'll play some free for all, I'll go for a nicked out title, I'll go for a nuclear title uh, while playing the objective in HQ which is what I've been uploading recently in other you know in other videos and uh, honestly that's my take on it I don't think that Black Ops 2 is going to die as early for me as it is for other people because you know when you're doing a lot more different things to other people when you're trying to play other playlists and not just sticking to the same thing over and over again with the same kill streaks it's obviously going to have a lot more staying power. So anyway, that was today's video. I would love to read some comments from you guys in the comment section down below on your opinion on the matter. And if you don't have an opinion or whatever, that's fine. You can just agree or disagree. Uh, but anyway, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like rating. That would help me out tremendously. And I will speak to you all tomorrow with another video. So thanks for watching. Ooh, I'm out of breath now. See you tomorrow. Bye.